Hey guys, it's Sonya popping back on live. Trying to get any last of the uh, black soot milk paint off my face because the last few hours I have been working on mom's uh, set here who saw me live earlier, working on her brownie frowny hutch and table and four chairs that have seen some wear and tear. And I'm like, you just wait till I get home. Don't throw that out. Don't buy anything new. Let me work some magic on it. Behold the power of paint, right? And so anyway, I am all done. So this was like a day flip. This is my gift to uh, mom and dad. Dad's in the back. Dad, you liked it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, oh, he's right there. I didn't even realize you got that close. He said, oh, yeah, he likes it. All right, so just remember Brownie Frowny, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Put it in a classic black dress that's because that's what mom wanted. And uh, what's nice is it's a timeless color. So no matter what she does over the years, um, you know, you can you can just do so much with it. So are you guys ready to see it? Hello, Debbie and Tanya and Ginger. All right. I'm, re I'm excited to share it with you guys. Mom's on her way home right now. So I want to see if you think that she'll like and notice a big difference. All right. You ready? You can't wait to see. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Ta-da. Can you guys see it? So here we go. So bye-bye, brownie, brownie. I decided to leave it brown interior and just paint uh, the ends of the glass shelves right here. You can see mom and dad has a lot of like woodwork around their house so it ties in nice, bring in a little bit of, if you're up close as well, you'll see definitely see some, um, you'll definitely see some distressing around the edges to make it all work, right? So this is the table right here done in our black soot, all sealed, ready to go. And so yes, you can paint, a lot of times I get questions um, about whether or not, oh, got hair in my mouth, hang on, hang on, all right, but whether or not you can paint like the cane back chairs like this, you most certainly can, okay, and uh, I like to use a shabby, shabby style chip brush when I paint because I tend to do like, I like the hand painted old style, right, and that just gives me the look that I like, that brush look, and it makes it look really cozy and lived in and um, like still still looking almighty fine but it's just a little bit cozy because it's got those worn edges right so what i did was i went up to the store listen when you're when you're from the bay area you don't get a whole lot of selection here there is no walmart to run to or any big department store but i did go up to the local hardware store and they had shower curtains micro what's it called microfiber microfiber shower curtains and so what I did was reupholster the gray vinyl seats that were there because, you know, they get really worn after a while. And I wanted to put a gray with it that would blend in really nice with this just to kind of keep it, you know, all in the right vein. So I bought her this nice little centerpiece, this little bit of this rushed, not rushed, brushed gray goes nice with the seats right here. And this was actually a piece that I found to tie it all together. So if you look over here, this is a gift. Because our family is like branches of a tree. We may grow in different directions, but our roots remain the same. And so she has her white blinds. You know, she has green in this room right here. The green also matches right here with a little bit of greenery right there. And then uh, this golden matches with like the, the golden pine that's on the walls. And so, and then of course you got the big black frame, the classic black frame. So that's actually like when I, um, when I think about working in a space, making sure that you have uh, something on your wall like that that ties all the colors together is important, right? Or, you know, maybe if this was a living space, maybe instead of having the wall decorations to pull it all together, what you do is you put in um, some pillows. So this up here was also a brass gold. So I'm getting ready to put mom's bling bling back on her chandelier, changed it from gold to painted this, got up, dad don't listen, got up on a stool and um, hand painted this as well. So she has all kinds of like bling bling gems that hang off of there. I'm gonna put that up there. And that gives it a little bit of like rustic glam, you know, really classy kind of look, right? So there you go. And these were the original placemats that she had, but like I say, the wood matches the floor, matches the uh, pine on the walls, matches the golden, um, the golden yellow letters. And so it brings it all together and stays with the vibe that was in here, but now it's got a totally updated vibe, right? So, yay, yes, Gail. I was actually talking to her about that. She she loves her wood look here on the bottom, so I'm not sure if she would ever be a person to paint her wainscoting, but just a tip I was saying to her last night that, yes, if you paint your wainscoting right here, I mean, that'll give you a total of other look to begin with. White would be a beautiful uh, bottom for it, but the moment, even if you painted your walls all solid one color, your eye line is not broken up, so therefore your ceilings will look tall and um, you know it won't look blocky right here but that just depends you know on the look that you're going for and you're trying to create so right now 
all this wood wood that's in here just uh, keeps it looking nice and um, cozy and uh, you know this is a house after all on the ocean right out on the bay so we're gonna have supper here tonight Matt Matt would you make for supper Alushki uh, with sausage and cabbage and what else noodles and dumplings and so mom's gonna come in anytime get to see this space we're all gonna sit down my brother's coming over for supper and his uh, family and we cannot positively wait to go ahead and enjoy it right so uh, yay so there you go this is just a quick afternoon flip um, for mom so right. and I'll let you know what she thinks okay I'll let you know what she thinks all right so I'm gonna pop off because I think she's actually pulling in now and I cannot wait for her to see it maybe I'll catch it on video and put it up on my my vlog over on YouTube tomorrow will be my next vlog all right yes go back Jamie and see what it looked like before I did a live video probably what four hours ago I don't know right here on my wall because I did this flip like just this afternoon. So just to show you through the power of paint, you don't have to throw it out. You can love what you got. You know what, you can put any color you want on it. I could paint this all over again, any color I want as well, right? So it makes it really easy to be able to think about redoing what you have and just giving a new look to it, not having to break the bank. And uh, just with a little, little bit of paint, you know how you can just totally change up a space. So anyway, all right, I'll see you guys on here again soon. I'm gonna see what she thinks. Hopefully she likes it. See ya, bye.